Hi, welcome guys. I think we're in Italy at the moment here, which is of course beautiful. Visited these coasts myself. But the topic of the video is not Italy. We have um, seen the message, like everybody else, that Termite is going to finish. And we want to document what um, will be going on. So this is the terminal Termite. And um, it was, it is in all parts of our system, in all four, five, six packages, and all the all the, the desktops, right? Awesome, and so one twenty-two desktops. It's embedded anywhere. So I will have a few weeks to go over all that, but um, I'm just gonna record what it might be a good idea today for a change like this. That's use the alias backup scale. At least you know what's now in my etc scale. And when I update, what will be in my update later on? What's coming in? Okay, so let's go for it. That's an update that we require. I hope not too much. Cool, cool, not too much. So Articlex bin is here, bubble wrap is here, but let me just go one step back because there's one thing I need to activate. And that's of course the testing repo. We're still testing that everything is okay. So it's in the repo testing at this point in time. It will be released when we think everything is okay. So we update and then we get a little bit more packages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages already. And that's just for XFCE. So awesome and all the rest, they all have to follow. Okay, let's go for a yes. And a lot of these things are going to ETC scale. You see all these things here, these messages up here. And here we see the nice message that termite is now obsolete. C, etc. termite is obsolete and by Alacrity. So they suggest we use Alacrity, but it's of course just a suggestion. We can do, or you can do whatever you want. So all the configs are not on my machine. If I want to keep using Termite, I don't do scale. But yeah, change is part of our life and we need to move forward. So scale it is. And I do another backup scale. And this is a very technical, maybe not an interesting for some people, so you don't look at it. But this is an interesting thing. What changed? And we're just talking about the ETC scale. There are more folders, right, that have changed, will change. So we have here the arch. We've changed some colors around. In the meantime, that's uh, one of our nice elements. You see already I do Ctrl Alt T. I have URXVT. So Arch, that's changed. Arco is changed. This one, Arco B. And the other one, Arco B, a little bit changed. There's the D and the Sys info. Okay. There is the Arco D. So the smaller one, the minimal one, so a little bit smaller, the A there. That's the most bare system we have, Arcanlix D. And then Sysinfo has changed for URXVT. We have now lines. Why? Because Sysinfo Retro, we've renamed it, can't display these nice characters, which is okay. It's just a script and it's not important at all for our system. So if you do want to have these icons, well, open up XFC for terminal and then sysinfo retro is the name. And that's these icons we're talking about. Those icons can't just go in your XVT. So we replace it with a nice slick line. Good enough. So that's this bunch of bin. Thunar had termite as your XVT. We had still things in there for when we were using OpenBox and i3. But today we have just XFCE in XL or XS 
and we don't need it anymore. So those things are out to set the wallpaper with nitrogen. Nitrogen the application is out as well. So no sense in having been keeping that. And Thermite launches something, runs something, and this is what we've changed it to, of course, URXVT. And this is good genie command that's in there for Openbox, but since Openbox is not by default in there, it's gonna be gone. Guys, just use Sublime 3, you see it, you see me do it in all the videos. That's the best tool. The deconf has changed. So the deconf is a kind of database and who uses the deconf? Plank does. So if you launch Plank, you have to give it a little bit of room. There he is. Termite is now out and URXVT is now in. All right, simple as that. Now we have URXVT in there. But you have to think about all these things. It's like dominoes, they fall and they <laughs> one thing changes and everything needs to change with it. In NeoFetch, we had some explanation here for termites. I've just eliminated the, these lines and set the gap to default three, so three it is. That's for NeoFetch and the same for the logo. You can change these uh, things in the tweak tool. You've seen the images maybe on Discord. So termite doc item is gone for the plank. Your XVT is in. The whisker menu, we've uh, deleted these EXO preferred things and EXO thermal emulators and just called them what they are. Thunar and this one, your XVT, okay. Oof. <laughs> this and we need to figure out what this means. Fail to execute default terminal emulator. If you guys know it, great. I'll figure it out eventually. So this default category is here. Recent false. Uh, we've deleted the line there. Terminal RC. Made it a little bit bigger. 800 by 24, 100 by 30. And the darkness 6260 for XFCE. We're actually in, yeah, XFCE4 terminal. That's the setting of the XFC4 terminal. A rearranged coloring all together. So Ctrl Alt T. This has changed a little bit, playing with the colors, not only in this one, but in UXVT in Xterm, in UXterm, in XFC4 terminal looked across these four terminals and they're defined in X resources. Then we have the desktop. I've added some more um, terminals. So if you have a monitor HDMI 2, the name, that particular name, then it will be set. It will set your uh, background wallpaper. Keyboard shortcuts don't like to launch EXO open things. I'm gonna go slowly but gradually eliminate these things and just launch your XVT. X open terminal emulator, your XVT. Same here, your XVT. And here's the other one, Control T, your XVT. So basically, you see all the changes, the keyboard shortcuts there. Then something I hadn't anticipated that we have a tool in here a great tool and sometimes we ask you go give us the information about your machine so that's this thing right so this is all the info on your machine it used to be of course termite so i had to change that as well to your xvt and had to dig in a little bit how to keep it open but it's just one one minus that needs to go but hey you don't know that you need to read the manual. So URXVT as well. Okay, looks good. This is for me as well, a check, you hear that? So this used to be, the left side used to be, and the right side is the new thing, and it's completely rearranged, rewritten, still some th things to, to figure out, but certainly good enough to work on. Besides there, that error I need to fix, I need to find, but 
this is great and bash rc seems to be different oh yeah neo fetch i just changed it to s fetch which i like s fetch low cat and then we have this beautiful little thing and that's all the changes we've done until now until now so still looking for uh, things i need to change or something like that so i go to my bash and go down I really like Neo Fetch, it's all good, but it's a bit big. And you can choose Green Fetch, you can use U Fetch, U Fetch, Arco, Paleo Fetch, LC, H Fetch. Today, this is my preference, and tomorrow I will have another preference, right? It's just fun and games. Each time I press, I'll have a different color. And that's a little bit of fun with this little cat thing. Super Q kills, 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 kills and kills and if i kill one more i kill my video no <laughs> pause almost killed my uh, simple screen recorder that records everything now so that's it for me if you know hey eric i know that error i know exactly what to do please uh, give me some feedback so i'll know i, I can spare some time and um all right have fun